honoring Black History Month. Pilgrim Rest, in partnership with the ASU Center for the Study of Race and Democracy, Jazz Meets Poetry, The Nash, and support from American Humanities and Tour West, is proud to invite you to a virtual watch party of the United States versus Billie Holiday on Friday, February 26th at 6.30 p.m. and The Music of Justice on February 27th at 2 o'clock p.m. featuring commentary and performance by Byron Stripling with Bobby Floyd and Friends, followed by a panel discussion regarding jazz, equality, and and community. Hello, I'm Byron Stripling, and I'm pleased to join the Nash in a celebration of the music of the justice. The music of justice is clearly baked into the sound of jazz. It's a sound expressed through the melancholy moan of a blues, combined with the glistening bright light of bebop. Jazz is the sound of hope and healing. Rather than carry around the burden of bitterness, all the anger, rage, malice, hatred, and sorrow become spirituals, gospel, blues, swing, hot jazz, cool jazz, soul, and beyond. Because music is the ultimate way of responding to a past full of trauma and pain. It's the profound artistic response to oppression. It's the salve that can heal your wound. So sit back, relax, pat your feet or clap your hands, and enjoy the music of justice. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Refer to the church website for the links. COVID-19 Vaccine Information Forum. Stream us on Monday, February 22nd at 6.30 p.m. as we will discuss updates about the vaccine and debunking the myths with doctors around the state. We want you to make an informed decision. Join us for Church Cluster on February 24th at 6 o'clock p.m. for children and young adults, 6.30 p.m. for women and men, and youth at 6.45 p.m. Refer to the church website for the Zoom links. Contribution statements were mailed on January 30th. If you did not receive your statement, please contact the church to verify your address. You can now update your name, address, phone, and email address on our website. Just go to pilgrimrestphx.org, click on membership, and scroll to the bottom of the page to update your information. Next Sunday is Heritage Sunday, as we will continue to celebrate Black History Month. Wear your attire, snap a selfie, and post your picture using hashtag PRBCBHM21. Have you experienced the loss of a loved one recently? Your church wants to be there for you in your hour of need. Please call the church office or email Elder Jerry Barnes. We're here for you. Check out all that's going on at Pilgrim Rest. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Opt in to receive text messages by texting PRBCPHX in all caps to 602-699-6624. Thurgood Marshall was born Thurgood Marshall on July 2, 1908 in Baltimore, Maryland. He was the first African-American Associate Justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. The son of a railroad porter and an elementary school teacher, Marshall graduated with honors from Lincoln University in 1930. Soon after, the University of Maryland Law School rejected him as an applicant because he was black, but that did not stop him. He went on to complete his law degree at Howard University Law School in 1933, ranking first in his class. While at Howard, he was a protege of Charles Hamilton Houston, who worked tirelessly to get young black lawyers like Marshall to see law as a potent weapon to overcome racial injustice. From the start, Thurgood Marshall was a force to be reckoned with. Throughout the 1940s and 50s, he distinguished himself as one of the best of the best, whether black or white, winning 29 out of the 32 cases that he argued before the Supreme Court. Many of those historic cases dealt with this argument that the separate but equal doctrine of the land used in housing and education was inherently unconstitutional. His most notable, and perhaps the one for which he became known as one of the most formidable jurists of his day, was Brown versus Board of Education of Topeka. 
Students of constitutional law today still study his oral arguments before the high courts from both the legal and political perspective. In 1967, President Lyndon B. Johnson nominated Thurgood Marshall to a seat on the U.S. Supreme Court. He was confirmed on August 30, 1967, and served until close to his death in 1993. This is one of his most famous quotes. The Ku Klux Klan never dies. They just stop wearing sheets because sheets cost too much. Pilgrim Rest Baptist Church is proud to recognize, celebrate, and honor the life contributions and rich legal legacy of U.S. Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, a strong black man.